Hi, Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Someone wants to return and talk about the mistakes that they made. Or so return mistakes, need to talk. They want to roll the dice, take a chance. They're listening to their intuition or you are. Oh, they sabotage this. They have a new perspective. So they're feeling like the mistakes they made were sabotage. And they're gonna reach out Capricorn and tell you this. They may be a little afraid to talk to you or nervous. What else? This may be something unexpected or unexpected clarity and a waking up, someone's waking up at night or they're listening to their intuition, meant to be flipped around, so I'm gonna take it and this is supposed to be that way. There's chemistry between this person and you, memories, missing you, thinking about you a lot, staying awake at night. So there's, they feel like nobody compares. Things are starting to change, having dreams about you. There's some sort of unexpected outcome, realizing your soulmates, all right, one more. And there's more to find out. I don't know, gossip's under the deck. I don't know if that's important, but okay. So someone, I'm getting somebody, they could have darker hair, brown hair, black hair. I don't know. Somebody I'm seeing in my mind, someone who is, could be earth like you, but doesn't need to be. It is, there's this grounded energy around them right now where they feel like, yeah, they, Realize they messed something up, they sabotaged it, they wish they didn't do that, they wanna talk about it. Hoping you'll see something from their perspective, but they know like they can't pull the wool over your eyes, Capricorn, like you see right through them. Um, they're actually, I don't, know, I don't wanna use the word nervous to approach you, but they're definitely not rushing in. It's like they're thinking things through. They definitely are choosing their words carefully. I feel like you could blow them up at any minute is kind of what I'm getting. So like you have a reason to be mad at this person and they know it. So that's what I'm getting there. So maybe maybe working on a project or you're just working or something here. You have a lot of ideas, but yet you seem kind of worried about something here outside of this person. This person may be nervous as well, but this person again is a little bit nervous to approach you and doesn't know how things are gonna end up. Yeah, you're gonna have an answer. There's something here you're worried about. You're trying to figure out a solution. It could be to anything. It doesn't have to be work or love. It could be something else, but I'm seeing, yeah, you will get an answer to something. Someone here you do, like you may work as a chemist or work, like it's something here where you're trying to solve a problem and you will be getting the answer. You could also be receiving some important messages or mail or something like that as well. Something could go in your favor also getting something that's going to even out. I don't know if that makes sense, but like balance out. So that's good. That's better than it going bad. This person who wants to come in and talk to you with the chariot, they may be at a distance, but I feel like you're kind of happy to see them because they owe you an apology. I feel like you are open to this, but you're not like making any extra efforts to see them. Like they have to come to you. They have to make the plans, whether it's a drink, it's dinner, coffee, whatever it is. Um, seven of swords. They could be a fire sign who does secretly have feelings for you. Two of cups. Their name may start with like a J. I'm getting like a Jeremiah or a Jeffrey or something. Jason, Jax, I don't know. What is this moon energy here? Yeah, there's definitely passion here. The devil's under here. How does this person feel right now? I kind of want to see what they feel about you because it's kind of like they're shifting energy here in the reading. That shows me like someone who's a little bit more intimidated. Now they're kind of coming in with a coy type of energy with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. I don't know why they're coming this way towards you because I really feel like you see through them. Like you aren't one to be messed with. Like you can you can read someone's energy. You know if they're lying or not. You know the truth of the situation. Like they really can't hide their feelings from you. Um, I do get again, they did really screw something up in the past. How are they feeling? They are saying there's a miscommunication. They feel like there is a misunderstanding. 
that you guys have a soul connection and it's true love they feel like it's true love and they just want to clear this up or have some sort of clarity around the connection or you or something they're afraid and actually haunted by this though okay how is capricorn going to feel about this person the devil why why the devil i feel like this person kind of might become putty in your hands or something that is coming i'm feeling it's weird because it feels like even though they screwed up the past you're still willing maybe to give this another chance just to see where it goes you're happy there's something about this person you really like i do like they could be very attractive or the chemistry is very good between the two of you see someone's coming with an apology the page of coin is my apology card in this deck and the hair font maybe a taurus for some of you oh yeah there is an earth sign here so this may be something you've been waiting for maybe you want to see this person grovel or beg or plea or apologize they need to is what i'm getting because they really messed something up in the past something that the two of you had going you had some sort of plan and they backed out at the last moment or sabotaged it so what are you going to do with this connection capricorn you're going to listen take the offer there could be a physical connection here with this person it's coming in very shortly okay so there could be some traveling you may talk about it. i feel like you're going to say you know you need to come visit me i'm not going to see you you need to come talk to me if you want to talk to me otherwise just don't worry about it it's kind of what i'm getting so they may see you within five days maximum five weeks but okay what is spirit so someone wants to come make amends somebody wants to possibly right or wrong or figure out what went wrong in the past and how they can make it right stability security they may tell you that you have the key to their heart this could be sudden maybe a sudden engagement maybe they want to get engaged or they want to take this to the next level i do feel like they could be kind of like they do want maybe want to lock you down it's funny because the energy on their side is a little bit more like they want to fix this they have to fix it they want this with you because capricorn on your side i'm feeling you kind of like that four swords energy you aren't too really bothered soulmates and mask came out though so now this is the thing with this person i feel like they definitely aren't going to show their feelings or like if they can get away with not opening up and being vulnerable with you they're not going to be if they can come in with that kind of like king of king of wands energy they will so but i feel like you need them to open up and say more in order for this to even go anywhere so because they're masking soulmates energy and i feel like they're trying to again it's weird because the closer they get to you i feel like the more games they, they may try to play they may try to mask their feelings they may try to even make it like you did something wrong um i kind of get like you're just going to lay back and, and or sit back and wait for this to come to you how do you see this turning out for capricorn a lot of communication there could be something new in the works between the two of you yep love commitment apology got a king of cups under here it's kind of like if they do open up their heart more and reveal what's in it and apologize you'd be open to this connection i do feel like there's an opportunity here um, to rekindle this connection let's see this deck really quick here what does this person want to say to capricorn what's on their mind they're saying i love you unconditionally i want to feel that way again i daydream about a life with you sometimes i stay awake thinking about you and i miss seeing you There's a change in the wind, something to do with community, family, groups of people, a message, time to go. The community card is the eight, number eight, eight days. Someone could be leaving a community, leaving a group, um, and maybe this person, I feel like the minute you say yes, this person is like on a flight, they're in their car, they're coming to see you time to go i feel is them and feeling blessed tick tock it's funny because the oracles show me like they are like if you say yeah they're in their car they're already in their car they're on their way they're coming to see you whether it's flying i do get like you are 
busy. Some of you, I don't know, I feel like community working and change in the wind. I feel like somebody could be in the film industry or something, or if you're on a set or you're on, there's something here, like, I don't know why I'm getting like, being very busy in a group. Obviously community is a group, but there's something like changing. It could be living, but I'm not getting that. Time to go blessed. Somebody feels like if you give them an opportunity, they'll be blessed. They're open to this message in a bottle. Time to go and blessed. It could be something around the 22nd of the month, but the way she's sitting here, it almost feels like that four swords energy as well, where you're just kind of like, you're open to this, but you're not going to make big um, movements toward them. Some of you may be moving in or out of a community, a homeowners association. Some of you like maybe selling a home in a gated community or something like that, or you live in a gated community. You could be tired of all the busy bodies around you or something. It says, I knew you were the one for me when I met you. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. I'm sorry I hurt you. I don't realize, I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I'm getting for some of you, you are a little out of this person's league. Like I see you as like a ball of fire. You're on fire, you're busy. You've got a lot going on. You have friends, you got family. You're intense. I feel like Capricorn, you're intense. This person is more like laid back. They could be older than you. They could be someone who's like retired. They don't have a lot going on. There's just something that's very different about the two of you. That's what I'm saying is kind of like you have more going on that you have to take care of than they do. So it's kind of an imbalance. But I guess if they could come to your level and be in your world, it could work. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Yeah, and I feel like this was intense. The chemistry was intense. The, just the connection was intense. It might just not be the right connection for you, and you may know that. But all right, anyways, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.